My name is Lisa, and I'm an elementary school student who attends a school just a five-minute walk from my home. My family consists of four people, my mom, dad, and my older sister, Mana. When mom called me to say dinner was ready, I went to the living room and ate while. Mom. Today, during gym class, the teacher changed the plan. We all played basketball in the gym together. Oh, that's wonderful. You must be tired from playing so much. After dinner, take a bath, and let's get you to bed early tonight. While enjoying a delicious dinner, I was telling mom about what happened at school today. Then, I heard the sound of the door opening, so I went to the entryway, and... Sis. Welcome home. I'm back. Oh, sis. Guess what happened today? Don't go upstairs, okay? You'll disturb Mana's studying. How many times do I have to tell you? Be quiet, alright? Whenever I tried to go upstairs, mom would get angry, so I couldn't go up. My sister Mana always stayed in her room, so I never got to talk to her. But I still loved my sister Mana very much. A little while later, Mana left the house with a big suitcase. Since she didn't come back at all, I asked mom and dad. Mana went to a faraway middle school. Yes, she's living in a place called a dormitory and staying with her friends. Wow. Which middle school did Mana go to? Tell me, and I'll go visit her. Even if I tell you, you won't understand. That's not true. I can figure it out. It's Kyosuka Middle School. There. No more talking about Mana, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. Mom and Dad always became grumpy whenever they talked about my sister Mana. The atmosphere at home would get heavy, so I decided not to ask any more questions about her. As time passed, I became a middle school student, but I still couldn't stop thinking about Mana. Then, one day, I told my parents that I was going to hang out with some friends, and I went to Kayasuka High School, where Mana had enrolled. Sis. Lisa, you've gotten so big. Haha. <laughs> You've gotten even cuter, sis. Thanks. And you look more grown up, Lisa. We were so happy to reunite after several years, and we talked about many things. We exchanged contact information before I left and kept in touch, but I kept it a secret from our parents. A few more years later, Mana, now fully grown up, was getting married, and she came to introduce her fiancé to the family. Nice to meet you, my name is Keisuke. Oh, is this guy really getting married? What do you mean, this guy? You're not here to ask for wedding money, are you? Hey, mom, dad. How can you say that? I was furious at my parents for being so rude to Mana and her fiancé, Keisuke. However, as soon as they found out the wedding venue was a luxury hotel, they quickly changed their attitude. I couldn't help but feel dismayed at my parents for that. Then, the day of the wedding finally arrived. During the reception, it was time for Mana to read a letter she had written to our parents. As Mana stood in front of the microphone, trembling, Keisuke stood by her side for support. Mom, Dad, I resent you both. Huh? Resent us. What on earth are you talking about all of a sudden? I was a burden to you, wasn't I? Because my real parents died in an accident. My real parents were my father's younger brother and his wife, who couldn't have children. They took me in as an adopted child from that facility, even though I had no blood relation to them. Though they showed me so much love, they suddenly passed away. My father inherited everything under the condition that he would use it for my education, and took me in. So that's how it was. But a few years later, when my little sister Lisa was born, I lost my place in the family. I, the unwanted one, was sent upstairs and couldn't even talk to my cute sister Lisa. Is that why we couldn't see each other all that time? At first, I couldn't understand why I was treated that way at all. But one day, my father, in a drunken state, told me everything. Stop it, don't say anymore. And then, I was told to use a scholarship to attend a middle high school with a dormitory. In other words, they were telling me to leave indirectly, and from that day on, I was forced to study hard. No way. So back then, sis. But, my sister Lisa always cared about me. I wasn't able to do anything sisterly for her, though. Even now, Lisa still loves me as her sister, just like before, and I truly adore her. Instead of reading a letter of gratitude to our parents, Mana expressed in front of everyone how much she loved me. As Mana's words filled the room, everyone in the venue was moved. What was that letter about? Mana. 
The way you said it made it seem like your father and I are the villains. Not seem like you are the villains. I had no idea that was the reason. How could you do that to my sister? Oh, Lisa, calm down now. Don't get so worked up. Everything in that letter was just Mana's delusional fantasies. It's all lies. My sister isn't someone who would lie. Even when she wasn't home, if I tried to go upstairs, I'd get scolded. When she was home, she would always go straight upstairs, and we weren't even allowed to talk. I'm still a kid, but I've always thought it was strange. I'm sorry, Lisa. I always knew you were suspicious. But I was afraid that if I tried to talk to you, you'd get scolded. I didn't want you to be sad. So I tried not to talk to you much. Sis. You always tried to talk to me. I'm sorry I couldn't really listen. Why are you apologizing, sis? You didn't do anything wrong. We just wanted you, Lisa, to live your life the way you wanted. That's right. We were just doing what we thought was best for you. What's wrong with that? Don't give me that nonsense. That excuse won't work. I'm not a child anymore to believe in those words. The emotions I had been holding back all this time came flooding out. But my parents just remained calm and indifferent. We did it all for Mana's sake, you know? Lisa, you were just a little elementary school kid full of energy and always chatting away, weren't you? Imagine doing that near a room where someone is studying. It would only disturb their concentration, right? Mana was studying so hard. It would have been unfair to distract her like that. What do you mean, for her sake? You only kept telling her to study over and over. She never wanted any of that, not even a little bit. It just seemed that way because you were a child. That's not true. Even when I tried to talk to her when she came home, she wouldn't look at me. But back then, she always had a look on her face like she was trying so hard not to cry. Lisa. Listen, it's normal for kids to dislike studying. Exactly. It wasn't just Mana. It's normal for anyone to resist studying. What do you mean, normal? What you and Dad did was wrong. One day, when you become a parent, you'll understand that your father and I were right. There's no way that will happen. Your mother is right, you know. We just wanted Mana to focus on her studies, and we raised you with lots of love. What's wrong with that? Enough with this nonsense. Don't you realize how much pain Mana went through because of your selfish ways? Keisuke raised his voice at my parents, who were being unbelievably selfish. Do you really only care about yourselves? Even after hearing Mana's letter and Lisa's words, you still feel nothing? But look, we're all living happily now, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. This is what they call all's well that ends well, right? All's well that ends well, you say. The deep scars left on my heart back then are still there and will never disappear. Maybe that's just because Mon is more sensitive than most people. To put it bluntly, it's just that you're emotionally weak. It's an excuse. We provided a solid environment to raise you in. And this is the result. We get a failure. Enough already. What are you two even saying? How can you call yourselves parents after saying that? Oh my. Keisuke's mother and father. It seems you don't understand anything either. You know, pretty words aren't enough to solve everything. It's not pretty words. It's the truth. Have you ever adopted a child that isn't related by blood? No, right? You have no idea how much of a burden that can be. You wouldn't understand our struggle. That's not true. We think of Mana as our own daughter. Mother-in-law, father-in-law. I never knew you felt that way. Thank you. Your words mean so much to me. When it became clear that Keisuke's parents had accepted Mana. I told you, that's just pretty talk. Even if you call her a real daughter, she's an adult now, so there's no hassle, right? That's right. We raised Mana from when she was a child and needed care. That's enough. I'm done with this. I will never forgive either of you. Don't be so insolent. How dare you speak to your foster parents like that, you ungrateful child. You should be grateful that we took you in at all. Enough. Mom, Dad, seriously, just stop it already. Everything you're saying is completely wrong. It's so awful, I can't even understand it. Oh no, it seems like Lisa is already getting negatively influenced. Exactly. That's why we didn't want them to be close. Stop twisting things to suit yourselves. Sis, 
I'm so sorry for not realizing anything until now. I'm really sorry. Lisa, there's nothing for you to apologize for. You were always so kind to me. You know, I decided to keep all of this a secret just for myself until today. Huh? A secret? Yes. That's why I also kept it from Keisuke. Do you two even realize how much Mana cared for Lisa? From the time she entered the dorm until now, she's always thought of Lisa. What does that even mean? This is just some story Mana made up. You show no gratitude to your parents and then go and disgrace us like this at your wedding. Shame on you. Hello, hello. Sorry to interrupt. Hello there. I'm Noah, Keisuke's colleague and the host for today. What is this now? Suddenly barging in. Here's a little something, a video for proof. Oh my. What is this video? Delete it right now. Not a chance. After seeing your behavior, it's clear this isn't some made-up story. As my parents were getting increasingly angry, a man named Noah appeared. After being shown the evidence video by Noah. How dare you secretly film something like this? Yeah, having that kind of evidence is just a nuisance for us. You're still saying things like that. At this point, I'm beyond shocked. Lisa, you better stop getting carried away, all right? I'm not getting carried away. And besides, just give it up already. Don't you realize, everyone here in this venue is on my sister's side? Hey, you there. What is the meaning of this? An employee of a toy company, saying such things to a child of all people. Wait, President Chosakabi. You know, you see, this is, how should I put it? Just a perspective as a parent. No excuses. Consider yourself fired from this moment. Wait a second. I haven't caused any harm to the company. You're just about to cause harm. That's what's happening. Until you resign from President Chosakabi's company, all business dealings are suspended. Our company is of the same opinion as President Takanashi. Is that acceptable to you? President Takanashi and President Watanuki too. Why? Both President Takanashi's company and President Watanuki's company both are major business partners of our company, and these presidents are this upset. But today has nothing to do with work, right? That's right. Getting fired at our dear daughter's wedding is just bad luck. At this point, the only ones bringing bad luck are you, mom and dad. How could you cause such a scene on Mana and Keisuke's once-in-a-lifetime special day? I feel exactly the same way as your daughter here. Do you really not understand what happens when you anger the presidents here? My parents finally realized that everyone in the venue was giving them cold stares. Looking more closely, they noticed that among the guests were employees from business partners they had dealings with. It turns out that Keisuke is the son of a prominent company's owner and the future president, making him well-connected. They finally understood that Mana's fiancé was someone significant, but it was already too late. Wait, please. I take back what I said earlier. Just please don't fire me. It's too late for that. Don't come crying to me now. If he just works a few more years, he can retire peacefully and receive his pension. We'll apologize to Mana and Keisuke. Just don't fire him. The fact that you're only panicking now after finding out who Keisuke is shows how pathetic you are. That's because you didn't even try to listen when they came to introduce themselves. Lisa, since you're close with Mana, couldn't you convince her for us? Help us out, please. No way. My sister is going to be happy from now on. I won't interfere with that. This is what they mean by reaping what you sow. It's too late for anything you say now. I'm not reversing your dismissal. No, please, President Chasakabi. From now on, I'll bring in more contracts and improve our performance. Please? My husband is dedicated to the company. He's the only one. Didn't you just say you were looking forward to getting your pension? You're only groveling because you won't get any money now. How disgraceful. No. If things stay like this, our lives will be ruined. So what? Even if that happens, no one's going to care. My sister already told you she'll never forgive you both. And neither will I. I won't ever forget everything up to today, either. My parents tried to plead with the people around them. Stop making a fool of yourself. Indeed. Don't cause any more trouble for President Chasakabi. It won't cause any trouble, I promise. So, being fired is fine, right? That way, you won't cause any more trouble. Lisa has a point. Please, Lisa, don't say things like that. Mana, we're really sorry. Please, Mana. 
We're begging you, forgive us. We promise to reflect on what we've done. Sis, what do you think? Well, I suppose getting fired is a bit harsh. Mona, you're going to help us? Thank goodness. As if. Getting fired directly by the president is a once-in-a-lifetime memorable experience. Wow, Lisa, you really know how to lay it on. So, that's how it is. Please leave the venue now. And goodbye forever. My parents were kicked out of the venue, and Mana and I cut all ties with them. As President Chasakabe had promised, my dad was fired from his company. Since my mom was a housewife, the couple ended up with zero income. Once, my parents, desperate for money, tried to come to me for help, but I turned them away at the door. After that, no one knows where they are or how they're living. But no one worries about them or tries to find them. And so, my parents lost everything and are said to be living a nomadic life outdoors, moving from place to place. As for Mana and me. Here you go. A souvenir from our honeymoon. Wow, thank you. Oh, chocolates. They look delicious. They sure do. Wait, why are you here, Noah? After hitting it off at the wedding, Lisa and I are now super close friends. Friends, huh? I wonder if friendship between a man and a woman really works. If it doesn't, we'll just get married, so don't worry, sister-in-law. What are you talking about? Lisa, you are still as clueless as ever. My sister and I have been meeting frequently, as if to make up for all the lost time we couldn't spend together. Keisuke is a very kind and sincere person, so I have no worries at all. Meanwhile, I hit it off with Keisuke's colleague, Noah, and we became close friends before I even realized it. The bond that was restored and the new connection that was made. I hope these bonds continue to bring happiness in the future, and I will continue to live with a smile. I truly feel happy to spend fun times with my beloved sister and her family. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.